all right, gonna do a video debunking this Roman Catholic heresy that Mary intercedes for us and that Mary is our advocate before the Father. I got so many, I got three verses here. There are other verses too, but I got three verses, uh, really good strong ones that prove that Jesus Christ is our advocate and our mediator and he intercedes for us. They say that Mary intercedes for us. Um, no, Jesus Christ intercedes for us. Let's get right into it. Romans chapter eight, verse 34. You know, if you're a Roman Catholic, um, and to these scriptures. Don't just say, well, the church fathers or church tradition. You see, whenever Roman Catholics can't handle scripture, they always have to run back to the church fathers or what do Christians always believe? Uh, that's not the standard. The standard is the word of God. The standard is not what is what has man always believed. The standard is what is what is what what is what is written in scripture. You know, what does thus saith the Lord say? Okay? It is not what does man say, it is thus saith the Lord. That's how it goes. Romans chapter eight. Verse 34. Chapter 8, verse 34. And again, what's the standard? Is it thus saith the Lord, or thus saith man? It's thus saith the Lord. Romans 8, 34. Who is he that commendeth? It is Christ that died, ye rather is writ that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Um, maybe, I guess Paul was mistaken. I guess what he meant was Mary makes intercession for us. Uh, no, Christ makes intercession for us. He is our advocate before the Father, not Mary, okay? Mary was a, was definitely a good woman. She was a holy woman. She was definitely used by God. She was definitely a very righteous person, but she doesn't intercede for us. That's that's putting her on way too high of a pedestal. Uh, and again, I, I respect Mary. I, I do have a lot of respect for her. She definitely is an example of a godly woman, but I don't like lift her up to the godhood type of status that the, the pagan Catholics do. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Another good one, making a problem for the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. It says, For there is one God and one mediator, mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. There is one mediator. Catholics try to get around that by saying, Well, Christ is our mediator, but he's not our only mediator. Um, there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. That simple. Uh, John, 1 John chapter 2, verse, uh, 2, verse 1. It says, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not, and if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Jesus is our advocate before the Father. Maybe, I guess maybe what John meant, the Apostle John, I guess maybe he meant that Mary was her advocate. Uh, again, Jesus is her advocate. The Apostle John was not mistaken. He wasn't, you know, contradicting church traditions. He was speaking under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. That's simple. Mary, Mary is not our advocate. Jesus Christ is our advocate. He makes intercession for us. He's our, our one mediator between God and man, Jesus Christ. Don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. It's, it's wicked. It's satanic. It is pagan. It is occultic. It's got all kinds of problems. It's pedophilic, full of pedophilia. Uh, Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. It is a pagan cult. So anyway, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.